here at Molyneux, one of the most vital games of the day between the visitors Liverpool fighting for the championship, Wolverhampton Wanderers fighting to avoid relegation. And today, Wolverhampton Wanderers welcome their new player, Derek Parkin. There he is, £80,000 with a fullback from Huddersfield playing his first home game for the club. Their attacking hopes will rest on Derek Dugan. There he is, the Irish international, always a great character. Liverpool, a team really buzzing, and they welcome back into the team Byrne, the English international, and Tony Hately, number nine, who now seems to have been finding his form, scoring the goals that Liverpool hoped he'd score when they paid £100,000 when they signed him from Chelsea. Twice he's been transferred for £100,000. Tony Hately, number nine. Dugan. And away go Wolves. For those who like to keep a record of the colours. Wolves are wearing all amber. Liverpool all red. And here's Young Mills in action. Now Parkin in the game straight away. until December and then the slump was set in and they're only one point above the bottom club. Bonner to Wolves going to be taken by their number 11 Wagstaff. That will depend on the head of Dugan for this one and he gets a head to it. Liverpool defence under real pressure. Now away comes Byrne. Byrne, Smith. Knowles. Uh, Sir John getting a bit of booing from the crowd. Not that that's going to worry him. That was the good clearances from defence by these two centre-backs on the Wolves' side. Oh, and then both in trouble. Hunt. At the first time, Woodfield and Holtzgrove have got in each other's way and almost to go for Roger Hunt. to Bailey now Dugan once again Evans to Wagstaff oh Wagstaff having a fine match no now watch Liverpool come out on the break it's Callahan now with Thompson perhaps Lucky the ball reached Thompson. Hunt. Good on defensive work by Thompson. Thompson to Parkin. So to his Evans, this is Evans. Oh, and Lawrence. Oh, lots of space for Byrne to run into. Hunt, as usual, taking lots of weight. Held by Thompson. Many people underestimate Hunt, but there's a lot of running takes on it. And Callahan. Callahan. Thompson. It's nothing better take on a back great dribble Sir John 
Hunt just choose alongside him. Hemmings up to Wagstaff and Hemmings has gone down, he's injured. Knowles on the left wing, there's Knowles. Wolves with Evans injured and Derek Dugan has done it. But what a fine break. Wexter first, then to know. <laughs> 34 minutes, Derek Dugan. And what a happy man he looks. Time to half time. Wolves 1 0 in the lead. Knowles to take the free kick. Up is Dugan again. Almost getting the second. What a great leap that was by Dugan. And you get it in the air against this Liverpool defence. You're really a top four. Hunt, the good one to Hughes. St John moved up with the attack, and here's St John. Back to Hughes. Hickey. And again, Callaghan. We will got that one again, despite the fact he was fouled by Yates. Three kick to Wolves. Woodfield to take the free kick for Wolves. And Dugan gets it again. Uh, this time he got that extra height by using his arms. Holding on to Yates, just levering himself up. There's Dugan. Be a fine match. Hately to Callahan. He's got Hunt inside. Oh, beautifully taken, Thompson. And how on earth that was just deflected away. Liverpool will never know, but deflected it was. So we're playing the injury time now in the first half. Corner to Liverpool. Lawler has come up. Yates has come up. Oh, posse of Liverpool men have come back. And Hunt and handball. Lawler. Both lines would have signaled 45 minutes up. But they don't have time on for stoppages. Evans up the wall. Out to Wagstaff. That's one for Dugan. Quite a spot of trouble. Kenny, signed by Wolves, Charlton, number seven. Wolves looking anything but a relegation outfit on this fall. And the whistle goes for half time. The scorer of the only goal almost say inevitably was Derek Dugan supreme confidence playing very very well indeed Inter interesting to see in the second half whether Liverpool will be able to crack this steady hole that Woodfield and Holmesgrove have on their twin strikers Holmesgrove Ball number six of Wolves has gone into the penalty area, shadowed by Hately. And it's Kenning with the corner. Wolves. And no! My goodness, that was going. 
Nelson John to Hughes. to Callahan. And the man that Wolves have got to watch. And that was going in. It was a beautifully floated shot. Liverpool have been using this through ball down the middle. I think that better off is they use Callahan and Thompson and Weaver more. The Hampton Wanderers still in the lead, so 15 minutes away from their first victory for a long, long time. St. John to Liverpool for other ideas about who's going to win this match. And there's Callahan. Oh, a great save by Parks, but it's out with Thompson. What a player this Callahan is. That doubt he's been the liveliest of the Liverpool forwards. Thompson back to burn. Callaghan. Must count of the number of real scorches he's put in. Now Liverpool with their tails up. It's Smith. And offside, I think. 33,207 people at this match. Smith to take the free kick for. Liverpool, Yates gone up into the penalty area, up goes big run, Yates, and Halsgrove puts it back on Callaghan to take the corner for Liverpool. turn now to pile the pressure on Thompson Ooh, what a shot from Peter Thompson after looking like a beaten side and Barrington well down by Smith against Dugan Dugan had been penalised a lot earlier than so it's a free kick for Liverpool uh, Hitchley but there's no one around him as the whistle goes for the end of the match one goal each and so Wolverhampton Wonders have now drawn two lost seven of their last nine league games